welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, and it's been a little while since I've made a video, but I wanted to attempt one today. I am heading to Goodwill just to go look around and do a little shopping here and there uh, lately, but I honestly haven't felt like making videos. Um, I don't know why, but I just was kind of like in a funk. So, also on top of that, our internet has been a little crazy. Sorry, it's a bit bumpy. Our internet has suddenly kind of lost a lot of its strength, at least when it comes to uploading. So what used to take me like half hour or so to upload a video, it now takes two to three hours. So for me to upload a video and all that, I have to leave the house and everything. Um, it just kind of got inconvenient and annoying. So it's been a little discouraging, but I'm going to attempt to make a video for you guys today. I went ahead to Goodwill. I want to see what they've got there. I also am keeping an eye out for some fabric pieces. I have a couple small furniture projects that I am trying to work on. Sorry if it's loud the wind. If it's really loud, I may just delete this and redo it. But if you can still hear me, I'll, I'll leave it in. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to raise my voice. I'm not shouting at you. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm heard. Um, but anyway, a lot of times you can thrift trap fabric for a lot cheaper than what you could get for it like at a fabric store. So like sometimes you can find old curtains or upholstery fabric or like nice some nice thick cotton. Like I want good proper material for a couple of these. Like one's a stool, like a, like a step stool, and one's like an old. I want to say I think it's antique. I'm not sure, but it's hold on. A second. Okay, I wanted a quick. I was entering, entering or about to enter a traffic circle. Oh, sorry, a traffic circle, and I didn't want to lose my focus. Um, we've had a few accidents around here on our traffic circles, uh, mostly involving tractor trailers, um, but I didn't want to be the cause of an accident, you know, dumb chick on film causes accident, traffic circle, you know, that, you know, that's all that's going to go down. Anyway, that's how I see it in my head. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I have a couple, a couple furniture projects. Um, I'm hoping I can thrift some material, but I'm really particular what I want. So if I don't find what I want at this Goodwill or, you know, while well, thrifting here, I probably will hit places like, oh, here it is blowing in my nose. Um, but I'll hit like Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby, something like that. Uh, even Walmart sometimes has some, at least for like the step stool, I want to get something that's like waterproof. So I have it in my kitchen, I can like stand on it, easily clean it. Some kind of like a vinyl or a faux leather would be perfect. So um, anyway, today's a lunch date with my husband. So there's a Goodwill right next to it. So right near the area. So I'm going to attempt to see if there's anything good there and attempt to do a walkthrough. It's been a while since, it feels like a while since I've done that. Maybe it hasn't been that long. But I'm going to end it here. I'll probably be there in a little bit. So once I get there, I'll walk you guys through so we can find Okay, we're here. I can go weeks to this store and find nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then I can come here and find some of the cool stuff. Um, so I'm really hoping this is a week of finding really cool stuff because I've had a I've had cool things lately, but a bit of a dry spell thrifting one. Oops, sorry, I'm focusing on the door here. So, okay, let's go and see what they got. Okay, this is when I first walked in. I wanted to quick check some of the clothing. This sweatshirt looks really cool. I apologize for any background noise you might hear. I'm actually at the pool right now with my kids. <laughs> so children are enjoying their summer break. So if you hear kids in the background, that's why. Um, yeah, anyone into the MTV sweatshirt? It's kind of cool. So I wanted to quick check out the glassware. I always, always stop here first, usually. I was kind of surprised by the sweatshirt, so I thought, oh, this really cool rice bowl because Apparently I don't have enough bowls, so what's one more? <laughs> I need another bowl, like I need, another, need a hole in the head. But anyway, I thought that was really cool. This plate was really neat. It looks like it has a little like, teacup that goes with it, which is kind of cool. Um, trying to get the mark on the bottom of that. I believe that one actually said Japan. It was really, really hard to see. Got that. There were so many amazing plates at Goodwill today. They were just so beautiful. I didn't buy any plates. Uh, but I'm really getting into individual plates that just like stand out to me. Like I don't want a whole set, but something on its own. There's another one under that one. Okay. 
All right, sorry, I had to pause that for a second. So anyway, so these plates were really cool. They, there's a lot here that caught my eye. I did not buy any plates. Uh, this week is a week of, I believe the tags, the green tags are half off. So I kept seeing all these items with blue and black tags, so none of these were half off, unfortunately. I thought these were Mikasa, but these are actually, oh, something. Can't see those. Uh, still made in Japan, I believe. Very pretty. And then they had, I think they had a really cool bowl here as well. I think that's in a little bit. I'm trying to keep talking here too because I'm here at the pool with my kids, like I said, and they have music playing in the background. So as long as I keep talking, I don't think there's any copyright issues with that. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get this in. These plates were amazing. They're gorgeous. I'm trying to move the plates around so you can see how glossy they were. And I'm trying to get a hold. I should have edited this part out. Sorry, it took a second. I wanted to see the marking. There we go. French, Saxon, China, 22 karat gold made in the US. Whole big old stinking set. They were so pretty. I'm not looking for a set of plates, but if I was, I would have snagged those. So gorgeous. Oh, and this Asian inspired bowl. I don't believe it's old or vintage even. Uh, made in China, as you can see, but look like the sticker on it. I was trying to figure out what shop it came from. It could have been from Home Goods in the past 10 years, who knows? But it was still kind of cool though. But I did leave that there as well. There were a couple cool plates underneath. And uh, this one I actually almost did buy. It was like textured and shiny, but then it's enough for food use. And then I felt like it was cheap. It just it had a neat old feel to it, but it, it wasn't. This plate I love so much. I'm probably gonna use it for my thumbnail. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's like a gorgeous painting you'd have in your house. Oh, it's so pretty, I love it. I left it there. I wasn't sure what I would do with it. It was, I'm not one for displaying plates like on walls, I'd like to use them. And that one I would be afraid to use. I'd be afraid I'd destroy it. <laughs> These really fun Corel plates. They just scream like 70s to me. I love the colors. They're very warm and welcoming. Some more plates because I can't help myself. Oh yeah, that one was pretty. The one underneath it was kind of cool, but I didn't think it was that old. So I wasn't worried about getting the information. I try and get the prices of items on each thing just to, because I like to know what the prices are. When people live in different states, uh, or different parts of the country and I see prices of thrifted items. It's just very very interesting to me So I do try and do that for you guys This aisle is just frames and artwork. Honestly, I find this aisle more boring than anything But I just wanted to include it just so you can see what our some of our goodwills here in Eastern PA look like now Some these shelves are like loaded like the end caps are loaded, but then like later on you'll see that some shelves are completely empty like Big old chunks of space is empty. I don't know why they don't fill them up, but. This little jug. They have some really, they had a good selection of figurines and whatnot. Nothing that I was personally interested in. But I mean, they're wise to make the end caps of their aisles like loaded with stuff. Like that's a good idea because it, it pulls you in like, oh, there's a lot of stuff. But then in some of these aisles, there's like nothing. I don't, I don't know how they make out sometimes, but. This dish was really interesting. It was like some handmade clay thing. It had a really neat emblem on it, but I couldn't make out what it was. I don't think it was very old though. Oh, this stained glass sun catcher. I almost got this. Actually, I kind of wish I had. I should have bought it. How much was it? I think I looked at the price here. What was it? Oh, uh, why didn't I buy you? Yeah, $2. Why didn't I buy that? I don't know. I don't know. I think my problem is with those, I buy it. I have like a pile of them right now and I'm not using them. So, tons and tons of clear glassware. Sweet little yellow bowl. Ugh. I'm literally right now standing outside under a huge oak tree and the breeze is blowing. It's so gorgeous. The sun is brutally hot today. It's like in the 80s. It's so nice though in the shade. <laughs> is it hot where you live? It's supposed to be like up to 90 tomorrow and we're in Eastern PA and there's this huge fire I guess going on in Nova Scotia. Uh, sorry, this has nothing to do with um, thrifting. Um, I see a Pyrex bowl here, and I do end up buying this Pyrex bowl. Um, but anyway, between the heat, 
in the humidity and then I guess the smoke from Nova Scotia is supposed to blow down into our area. The, the air quality is so horrible right now. So it's not the greatest to be outside, but. This apple uh, cookie jar was really fascinating. $7, not bad for that. And I, I don't know if it's old or not, but it really looked cool. Like you totally could like pass it as an old, old cookie jar. And these glasses were really cool. It's mid-century. Oh, I don't think they're George Briard French Press. They might be one of the two. I'm not sure. I actually used to own a set of these. They have tons and tons of like vintage like glassware. And, and sometimes they'll have good stuff. Most times, most honestly, they don't have a whole lot of cool stuff. These glasses caught my eye. Oh, this glass is really cool. In a second, I think I get a close-up. I, I was trying to get... Oh, yeah, there, here we go. There was some lady behind me in this aisle with her cart. And I was trying to stay out of her way, but I feel like everywhere that I was, she wanted to be. So I was... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I should have edited that part out. There we go. I'm trying to get the close-up. Oh, this glass was so stinking cool. But I just... I have so much glassware. I've, I've collected so much vintage glassware every time. It always catches my eye, but I've learned to leave it on the shelves because I, it doesn't serve me to own all of it. It really, truly doesn't. These are cool because I have a those green glasses. I have a turquoise uh, pitcher with that seems like pattern on it. I love it. If this would have been turquoise, I would have barked those up in a heartbeat. Some more plates because I just can't help myself. They always have like a huge stash of plates. I guess people just don't want their plates anymore. I don't know. Yeah, tons of teacups. They always have a ton of teacups and mugs here. But see, see what I mean? Like the end caps are loaded with stuff. They pull you in thinking they've got like tons of goodies, and sometimes they do. But I see tons of mugs. I'm always on the hunt for this one particular Pyrex mug. I'm really looking for. And I'll probably never find it because it's like ultra, ultra rare, but it's the Amish Butterprint Turquoise Mug. And they sell for hundreds if not thousands of dollars. But I always check just in case. Oh, I love this chicken. This was so cool. This was, I believe a salt shaker, pepper shaker. Yeah, only $2. Had there been a pair, I think I would have been kind of, oh sorry, I'm trying to zoom in. My, my, my camera work today was not my, my greatest. Not my finest hour, guys, I'm sorry. But, um. That was really neat. Do you know who makes this? It's a USA on the bottom, so. This looks like it was handmade. It looks, it's a little morbid. It looks like someone like gouged the eyes out. Like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. This egg thing was cool. This actually reminds me of something you'd buy at like QVC. Like, I remember years ago buying like Christmas ornaments that were kind of like this. Like, you opened up and they had like a little like, it was like a little music box. I don't know. I'll figuring. Um, I was trying to, sh I wanted to show the upper shelf, but there's a lot of people in the other aisle, so I'm like kind of randomly pulling things down so you can see them. I think I do eventually zoom. There we go. Yeah, because some people were finally moving down the aisle. I just don't like to get other people in my videos if I can help it. But, oh, this was so cool. This like porcelain has to, it said pasta on it. How cute would that be on your counter with all your like spaghetti and all that stuff? I was trying to zoom in on this adorable little like ceramic pan on my phone. I'm sorry, it was being difficult. It was so cute. If you had like a little uh, dollhouse, this would look so precious in it. I guess it was just, I thought maybe it was like a salt shaker or something, but it was nothing. Oh, these mushrooms. I got these. I totally got these guys. I'm on a like ceramic porcelain like mushroom kick or whatever. Like I have a couple in my yard right now, so those would be perfect some flowers or something I don't know if you could say hens and chick checks if it's, it's like it's a rabbit like usually if you see a chicken I guess in one of these bowls I think it's called hens and wait not a hens and chicks that's something else my brain my brain isn't working with me anyway the little uh, rabbit in the bowl thing was cool what is that called with the glass chicken in the bowl that's called something else I'm having a brain fart this sconce was really cool this would have been a really fun project to buy and repaint or something, like black or something. Paint the, the gold black. Oh, that would have been fun. But I'm not really into sconces, so I love those. I was honestly a little tempted. Some cheap candles. $3 for a whole tent. That's not bad. You can <laughs> all faded. They'd been in the sun. 
Oh, the old Chia Pets. I always wanted one as a kid, but never got one. I'm kind of glad now I didn't. I probably would have killed it all, but did you ever have a Chia Pet? I think that would have been really fun. Has some of the crafting items. Now see, look at these shelves. When you go down a bunch of these shelves, they are bare. That's kind of like, what is that? Five items on one like mid shelf? Like, okay. And I know Goodwill sells a lot of things online and I get it, they probably do better there, but this bowl was really fascinating to me. I forget the maker, was it? Oh yeah, Fitz and Floyd, I've heard of them before. I cannot remember much about them though. But the colors and the texture and the shine, look at the gloss and the shine. Oh my goodness. It's just so eye-catching. Okay, yeah, it's a little tacky. I get it. I get it. It is tacky. But sometimes I just absolutely fall in love with tacky. I don't know what it is. I did not buy this. If I go back next week and this stupid thing is still there, I don't know. Like, the more I look at it, the more... <laughs> what would you use it for, though? Like, for candy? I have no idea what I'd use it for. More apples. I think all these apple jars came from one person. I bet you money. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this set. This set was really neat. Only five dollars. You get like four little plates and a couple little like I guess they're for like cheese spreads or something. Look at the quality. I love the colors and the glaze on these, like or the gloss I should say, not the glaze. You know what I mean. But they had I remember earlier there's a huge apple cookie jar and then they had these other small apple jars. I bet you money that they came from like the same person. I like this blue jar. I I don't know how to explain it to you, but I feel like this jar had some quality to it. It felt really nice. No maker's mark, unfortunately, but I just loved it. And this other little apple. They're so fun. I did leave them there. I have no need for them. I don't collect anything like really fruit related for the most part, but that was fun. Oh yeah, these, um, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. There was a guy right behind me. I should have edited that part out. Um, there was a guy right behind me and I was trying to get out of his way so I came back. So these are like little teeny tiny like teacups and teapots and all random stuff for like fairy gardens. I thought about going back and buying some of these but it was little, it would have been a little overkill so I did not. But bags and bags of teeny tiny stuff, it was so cute. I did go back and kind of consider buying them but I didn't. I'm glad now, I don't regret it. I don't. Precious moments things that you can't give away, unfortunately. Look, more empty shelves. Look at all the empty shelves. There's two rows empty. Not a, nothing. I'm sorry, that's kind of sad pathetic for Goodwill. <laughs> These blue vases were really cool. I love the blue, but they weren't, they didn't stand out to me as something like I wanted to take home, but they were pretty. And they have, oh, that bottle. Yeah, I forgot about that bottle. I thought that was neat. It was so weird. I don't know if you've watched a whole lot of my videos if you're new. I know I've said this before and I will say it again. I swear to God, I walked down these aisles, there's nobody there. And the second I start walking down, there's someone like, I feel they're on my tail with their car. They want to be right where I want to be. I don't know if filming stuff makes people want to be like, what is she doing? I got to see what she's doing. <laughs> so in this aisle specifically, I, there was like someone who's right behind me. So a couple times I'm like trying to film and squeeze down. And I used to just, kind of like lose my nerve and stop filming. And now I'm like, no, I'm, I'm allowed to be in this aisle, same as you, <laughs> so I'm gonna film. Um, but no one seems to, as long as I stay out of people's way, like I don't want to be inconsiderate. But. Random stuff. Uh, there's this cool little urn thing. I really like this. I don't know, at first, I thought it was old. I'm like, oh, this might be really cool in our back patio. You know, summer coming. And and then it said Ross on the bottom. And Ross had it for sale for $4.99. Goodwill was selling it for $6.99. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> yeah, better deal at Ross. I didn't find these owls terribly interesting, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Uh, what else the store had to offer. These aisles, I'm not really sure what the theme is. I kind of miss the colored theme in the aisle. Oh, more apples. <laughs> um, the one Goodwill that I usually go to does have the color scheme still. 
the color themes, whatever. Three dollars for this marble. My arm was shaking. This marble roller was so heavy. My nanny used to have one of these. My grandmother. Oh my gosh. I don't know how she lifted it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I miss the color schemed aisles themed, whatever. However you want to label that, but um, I prefer it. I still prefer. I kind of wish the store would go back to it. Uh, this is the end of the video, at least the part in the store. I just thought this was the weirdest thing. This sled for $13, not a bad price. But I think that's a beer or something. I just, I had to show you guys. It's so, so funny. Okay, I'm just going to quick show you, show you what I got. I only got four items. I got these really cool mushrooms. They were $2.99. As you can see here, oh, focus. So these are gonna look really cool. I'm just gonna stick them around my yard, but um, I have a couple of little tiny, not really fairy gardens, but I have little tiny fairy houses under some of my trees. So I might take a few of these and stick them by the little houses that I have. So I thought that might be fun. The other item I got, which you did see, is this really cool rice bowl. My husband is just terribly thrilled that I got another one. <laughs> I don't think he cares. He's, he's supportive with the things that I love. I shouldn't say that. Um, he's a good egg. He's really cool. But um, I told him I got this today. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, how many bowls does one woman need? Apparently, I need about 2,000. I don't know. I have a thing for bowls. And now vintage plates. Like, I love old plates. I don't know what it is. I, I'm weird. I'm very weird. Anyway, moving on. And then I did get a Pyrex bowl. This bowl's really cool because kind of see the pattern. I've seen people take this exact bowl. This was actually half price because see the green today was half off on the green one. So this says $3.99. I got it for $2. So it does have quite a bit of scratches and stuff in it, but I don't care because I've seen people take their primary bowls and they'll put a primary bowl in the flower bowl and the color behind the flowers makes the flower stick out. And it looks really cool. You have to Google it. You have to Google it and it looks really, really pretty. And then the last item that I got, anyway, $3 for this tray of votives. There are about 10 and that works out for me. They're old, they're faded. I mean, look at that one, it's, it's seen the sun. But these will still work and I love, love, love buying candles at thrift stores, thrift stores because they're so cheap and especially, especially the older ones. Hardly anybody wants these and I will use these. I love candles. Not so much in the summertime, but as soon as it starts to get cold outside and fall and winter kind of come around, I love burning candles all the time. So I try and snag them when I can. It's actually been a long, long time since I bought candles because I used to have a huge stash um, that I had bought from like over like weeks and months. I bought like a ton of cheap candles and I didn't have to buy candles for a very long time. And now my candle stash is completely gone. It's demolished. I burned through all of them. So it's time to restock. So anyway, got that. So in total, I think it came to $11 because they, they ask you if you want to round up. So I'm like, yeah, go ahead. So for two bowls, the, the cool little mushrooms and the candles, totally cool. Totally, ha totally happy with that. So anyway, I didn't find any fabric. I was looking for some kind of like heavy duty fabric to cover a couple like furniture projects that I have. I didn't find anything, unfortunately, um, but I'm not discouraged because I'm actually, I actually kind of want the excuse to go to Hobby Lobby or uh, Joanne Fabrics and just see what they have. Um, so that'll be fun. Maybe I will incorporate that into another video. So that could be fun. So it's all good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good rest of the week and a weekend and take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.